Welcome to the Bourbon Van. I'm Phil. I'm Julie. Day 17. What do you got for me today? Whiskey. Oh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> day 17, first day of round three. Thank you to our friends at Sagamore Spirit Rye, as always, for helping us to put this thing out into the world. I'm awfully glad we're able to do it. I think the world deserves it. I know the world deserves it. <laughs> yeah. Also forgot that it was round three. <laughs> round three starts today. We have four matchups. We're going into round three with nine bottles total. We have been Super very close. simpatico. It's very simpatico, yeah. Um, we have no idea what this is. Hopefully it's one of those matchups where we're drinking the same thing. I just think they're more fun. Well, since we don't know what it is, let's get right to it. I agree. On the nose, glass one. My goodness. Hmm. It actually smells bright. With a little bit of nail polish. <laughs> Super oaky, sugary. There's a hint of nail polish, though. There's a little bit of that... Um, giant black markers mm. but, was, in the, but in the best possible way Th this smells so good i can't swim but i want to get in here with this oh. i want to i want to float around in there you just put water little, wings yeah a little tube on yeah exactly lazy river it now that i like Ooh, a lazy river of bourbon <sighs> dangerous <laughs> uh yeah i don't think that's a good idea glass two on the nose i i was like that smells amazing i was like I like it, and then I was like, whoa, and then... It's a weird nose. I immediately thought it was Frey Ranch, but I know Frey Ranch isn't in here. It's actually an interesting callback, yeah. Both of these seem odd to me, but this is uh, huh. citrusy. This is so grainy to me, it's... so farmy. I honestly don't know. That's an interesting one. Yeah, both of these big noses, very interesting it's gonna on the so nose. going to be so different. I can't wait. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, I do like this one. I let that sit for a second. Not disappointed. I went in with a accidentally large sip. Mm. And uh, I was like, oh, boy, here we go. I loved every second of that. No. I might change my gulp style after this. Who knows? Yes. <laughs> That's very, very good. So good. None of the nose really shows up on the palate for me. Like, I was getting that nail polishiness on it but the oak and the flavor so lovely on this tons of tons of sweetness almost like a light brown sugar not not overly molassesy or anything like that not super dark mm. just tons of oak tons of sugar there's a hint of mint on the finish there is a little mint on there yeah flood of flavor we must be drinking the same thing here yeah coats the tongue i haven't taken a second sip because it, oh, it it's lasting mm. so long on the finish it's warm, but not too warm. That is a balanced whiskey right there. I like this. Whatever's in the last one, I like. I mean, it's not surprising made it to round three, but man, round three. We're really doing something here. Are you feeling a little nostalgic right now? <laughs> a bit nostalgic. I've had a lot of fun this year. Yeah. We're doing that thing where we, we look back at where we've been, and we're not paying any attention to where no. we're going. I'm going to... I'm going to have another sip of glass one. It's only please, my second sip of it. It's so good. Please do. I've already taken two sips, I believe. And I'm going to save this one because I want to give it a moment so I can clear my palate for the logo glass because I have a feeling it's going to be wildly different. It's a th It's got me crossing my arms and thinking know, about it. I know. You like I'm it. just sitting here. Should we just call it? Oh, just no. kidding. I'm just kidding. You know what I want to do? I want to spend the rest of the night with this glass. Oh, and just you may. Sit wistfully look outside it is cold outside it yeah. is it's colder outside than the way that i have treated elijah craig barrel proof in this tournament oh, it is ridiculous yeah. you know what i'm excited for christmas <laughs> i do love christmas yeah. <laughs> but i'm excited to see if the logo glass shows up because she made it here for a reason dang it and yeah she's not giving up <laughs> <laughs> okay here we go glass two Wow, this oh, is, there's, there's this a, is funky. What is, like, there's a flood of caramel on the nose now. Yeah. Distinctly wow, oaky, different oak. Different, exactly. Different oak, different fruit on this one. These could not be more different. And they're both a little odd. Mm. If we're drinking the same thing, yeah. there's a eight and nine chance that we are. I know. Right. I don't know if it's eight and I don't know. I don't know how to do math, but that's pretty eight good. Eight nines? <laughs> flavorful wow there's caramel chocolate citrus 
dry oak, but that's somehow musty at the same time, while they both coat fantastically. This is a tough matchup. There's nice spice on glass number two. I was just looking up at we have Christmas lights over there. So I was just looking up there, just pondering <laughs> glass just, two. Just wistfully I, dreaming about wist what could have been if we were doing something productive for these 23 days of the Advent tournament. I feel like we're very productive. Oh, good. I'm glad you're feeling optimistic about it. But I, I, I need to take more sips of these because that first experience was so delightful for both of them. Super different whiskeys. All right, I'm going to go back to glass one. Agreed. There's some butterscotch How? in this one. <laughs> yeah, there is. How good is this glass? This one is richer in sweetness, like a, a deeper richness and sweetness. This one's a brighter, more... It almost tastes a little young to me. I don't know why, but it's just maybe it's those bright, it kind of dances a little bit. Um, kind of flavors. There's a little candy corn in there. It is mm -hmm. a little grainy. So I'm, I'm kind of with you on that. Hmm. Oh, these are both absolutely delicious. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I think I have a winner already. Sweet. I think I do too, and I think we're going to be different. Wow. I don't know. I have no idea. But This I... is incredible. Let's give it... I'm going to do one more back and forth yeah. just to be absolutely certain because we're in the third round. Take it seriously, everybody. Here it comes. We'll be right back with our decision. I'm ready when you are. I think that I'm ready too. One, two, three. Oh, I actually thought you were gonna go with the other glass. This glass here is a steamroller. The flavor is enormous. The finish is amazing. The sweetness is, it's, it's a crusher. Agreed. That's it. I really liked the balance of this glass. There was something about glass two that compared to this one felt just a, a tinge off to me. I agree. Super, yeah. super delicious. I liked everything about it. But when you compared it to the glass one, that just felt super cohesive and yummy. There was something a touch astringent about this glass today. And I, yeah, I, I agree. think it's because of the matchup because I yeah. I don't remember anything astringent making it this far. So it's it's Agreed. probably just the matchup. Both delightful whiskeys. Let's find out what we eliminated. It was the logo glass letter X as in Xerox me another glass of glass one because I really liked that one. Moving into Jeez. the quarterfinals. This is the wrong letter for me. This was not what I thought we were drinking. X is the Still Austin cast strength. So Still Austin was just eliminated. That's a glass that beat up on some big flavors to get here. That's shocking. This was not what I thought we were drinking, to be perfectly honest, because there was a hint of butterscotch in that first glass. I'm like, gosh, I wonder if that's the makers, and it wasn't. So they were both, they were both odd. They are both standouts. A uh, super good glass was letter I, as in, I believe I've chosen a very tasty whiskey here tonight. That I believe I have too, and she's a Cinderella of this tournament. Old 55. How about that? Indiana knocks out Texas. Yeah. This was a real showdown. Yay for Old 55. Holy she cow. was a stunner from the first round, moving into the fourth round. Watch out, people. We are going to need to get another bottle of that at the end of this tournament, no matter what happens, because that's absolutely delicious. Old 55, bottle and bond, 100 proofer, knocks off Still Austin, a cask strength bottle. Yep. Kind of easily, it felt like. It felt a bit easy to me today. And we love both of these bottles. Well, there you go. Round three is underway, and it's a shocker right off the bat. We hope that your bracket's intact, and I bet it's not, <laughs> from wherever we are. To wherever you are. Cheers. Cheers. I want to give that glass a hug. Oh, I love hugs. <laughs> I'll give you one too. Oh, thanks.